Okay, let's get sorting this wing out. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your, your model is in object mode. Uh, and we need to split this shape up, this wing shape up, to get some edge loops so that we can start being a little bit more precise. So let's first move into the top view, seeing as that's what we're going to be using. And we can see that to create the curvature down the end of the wing, we're going to need quite a few of these edge loops. Um, as I'm working in this view as well, I'm just going to trace... Um, just going to trace to the end of there. So I'm going to leave that like that. Back into object mode. Okay. So you need edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. Okay, I'm going to put in some edge loops. So towards the end, we might need a fair few just to make sure we can actually get the curve that we're looking for. So I'm going to put three in there. And then they can get further apart towards here as the, the curve of the wing gets a little bit more simple. Okay, now you can see because the vertices aren't flat on this part of the wing, they're not on top of each other, and we're going to have to sort that out in a sec. Uh, but I think. sort of that many ought to do it. We're going to miss out this bit of the wing here because it just complicates it. So we'll not do that. <coughs> okay, so these are our edge loops. The first thing we need to do is just put it into vertex mode and make sure that these are actually on top of each other. So select the entire row, change your scale tool, and then just scale in using uh, the manipulator on the x-axis. And never go past the middle, and that'll just flatten those out. Same for the next row. I'm just going to work your way down to the wing, uh, to the edge of the wing, just making sure these are all flat, and it makes it much easier as you're modelling this further down. So there we go, I've got that one. I'm going to do this one. Um, in case you're feeling sort of hopeful about it, you can't do more than one row at once, um, because they'll just all merge together and try and be on top of each other. Which is not what you want, really. Okay, so just this one. This shouldn't take much doing because it's near the end. And finally, that row there. Okay, so we've inserted our edge loops, meaning in the next video we can just trace that wing. So I'll see you for that one.